In this scenario, we are looking at a Group 2 aircraft hangar. The hangar is protected with an electric release deluge foam system supplied by a bladder tank. A bladder tank is a device that is continually pressurized by the main water supply. The water sits between the steel shell and the rubber bladder. The bladder is filled with a foam concentrate. The bladder tank concentrate piping leads to the concentrate control valve that is held closed by priming water. The concentrate control valve is holding back the foam concentrate supply until the system is activated. Continuing past the concentrate control valve is the ratio controller. A ratio controller is a proportioning device that meters foam concentrate into a water stream to create a foam water solution typically at a 3% ratio, depending on which foam concentrate is used. Upstream from the ratio control valve is the F1 deluge valve, which has a shared priming connection with the concentrate control valve. This allows the two valves to activate simultaneously. The deluge valve is holding back the main water supply until the system is activated. In a scenario where a fire has started in the hangar and begins to grow, the electric detection device activates and sends a signal to the VFR-400 release control panel. The electric solenoid valve is powered open, releasing water pressure within the priming chambers of the deluge valve and the concentrate control valve. The drop of prime pressure causes the priming line pressure switch to activate. Priming line pressure switches are required for factory mutual global approval. After the release of prime pressure, the deluge valve's clapper and the concentrate control valve's clapper open simultaneously. While the next steps happen in parallel, we're going to look at the water side of the system first. Once the deluge valve is open, water will fill the trim and activate the water flow alarm. Water will enter the system riser, passing through the ratio controller. Occurring at the same time, on the concentrate supply, the foam concentrate is under pressure in the bladder tank. Priming pressure on the concentrate control valve drops, and the concentrate control valve opens. Foam concentrate begins to flow towards the ratio controller. The foam concentrate will pass through the metered orifice and then mix with the water into a foam solution. Let's back up and show these steps all happening together as they would in a normal scenario. The foam solution travels to the foam discharge devices and the fire is extinguished.